Glory be to God. This is just a systematic approach I want to give you when it comes to commanding your day, a systematic approach. When you wake up in the morning, just wake up with gratitude in your heart. Begin to thank God that he has given you an opportunity to see a brand new day, a brand new never before lived day. Thank him and appreciate him that he woke you up. He woke your family up. Do you know what it took God to keep you alive? When you were asleep that eight hours, nine hours, ten. How, whatever time you spend sleeping, do you know how much it took God to watch over? You can't even afford the security that God provides for you. Have you ever thought about that? Think about how much it costs a maker to protect the president of the nation, to protect people that are working in high level of uh, job that needs security, to protect the nation. Do you know how much it costs for security to protect America? How much money they spend in that department. Do you know how much it costs God to protect you while you slept? So as you woke up in the morning, appreciate God. What shall you render to him for what he does for you? Appreciation. Thanksgiving. Systematically. You wake up thanking him. Lord, I appreciate you. And receive his mercy that he has given you. Because you used up yesterday's. So you, a brand new one has been released for you. Receive it by faith. The Lord, I receive your mercy. Free yourself from all condemnation. What you did yesterday, what you did wrong, forgive yourself. Ask God to forgive you. Ask for his mercy. The Lord, forgive my trespasses, even as I forgive others. Choose to forgive. Open your mouth loud and declare that, Lord, I forgive those that have trespassed. Give me grace to walk in love. Speak forgiveness in the atmosphere. This is a systematic way of speaking to your day. Ask the Lord to help you. To walk in mercy as you receive his own mercy. And begin to address what happened over the night. Jesus said, while men slept, the enemy came in. And so weeds, yes, among the good, uh, among the good seed, he came in. The Lord was walking. The enemy after that came in to damage the work of God. So he began to speak everything your heavenly father has not planted. Speak to the day. Open your mouth that you uproot them to the root. Everything has not planted in your children, in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, on your job, in your family, in your church. Everything he has not orchestrated for this day, begin to uproot it. It's spiritual warfare. So you, you go in that angle, just speak to your day. Just appreciate him. And begin to cast all the cares upon the Lord. All the baggages from yesterday, last year, two weeks from, uh, from today, all those baggages, beloved, learn to cast the care upon the Lord. That's extra load. It's causing you too much stress. You can't even walk in love because you're so, you're carrying too many baggages on you. Cast it upon the Lord. The Lord, I cast my care upon the Lord. I cast you. Financial care, I cast upon you. Relationship care, I cast upon you. My health care, I cast upon you. The naysayers care, I cast upon you. Every care, the cares of this life, the deceitfulness of wealth, I cast upon you. Worry, anxiety, I cast upon you. Declare that you will not worry. Be anxious for nothing. Everything by prayer and supplication with thanks. If you make your request known to God, what is that issue? Put it before the Lord. And don't stand there waiting for God to answer. Put it before the Lord by faith and know that he's going to address it. Don't be anxious. He's going to answer the prayer. Not at your time. The people that are fighting against you, he's going to deal with them. Not at your time. Not how you want him to. He's God. He knows better. He knows his job. We don't need to tell him what to do. We don't need to teach him his job. So cast those cares upon, cares upon the Lord. Trust him to give you victory. Remember, we rest not with flesh and blood. Ephesians chapter 6, we rest not with flesh and blood. But with principalities, powers, rulers, authorities. Speak to your day that you will not rest with no flesh and blood. Command the day. Speak to the day what you don't want to see happen for that day. Begin to declare. The plan of God, let it stand. Begin to uproot in the day what your father has not planted. Speak to that day. The workers of iniquity, they are up to frustrate your day. They are going before you. They are going to the workplace. They are going to the grocery store. They are going everywhere. They are going to cause accident. They are going to frustrate you. Begin to speak to them that God will frustrate them. The devices they are planning for you, that will be multiplied upon their life. Speak, speak, speak. Be alert, be sober, be vigilant, beloved. You have an enemy. You already know that enemy is not flesh and blood. 
Leave flesh and blood with God. Let God handle them. You deal with spiritual warfare. The enemy use people as a hostage. Yes, go in there because he's a coward. Go behind the scene and fight the good fight of faith. Ask the Lord to teach your hands to war and your fingers to battle. Yes, beloved, arise. Speak to your day. There's so many prayers you can get from YouTube. I have my prayers there. Other preachers, they prayed. But pray. Be a part of the prayer that is going on in your church. When it's called time for prayer, be there. Be available. Make God a priority if you want to go ahead with God. Make him a priority. Make his house a priority. Serve him. We join with gladness. Speak, beloved. Make time for prayer. Make time for the word. Make time to, for devotional. Yes, my daily bread is online. You can go there and do devotional every day. You make time. Speak peace in your life. Just learn to be deliberate about your day. Don't just walk around aimlessly be deliberate about your christian faith the enemy is very deliberate very strategic he's 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 walking every every day around seeking an opportunity to devour you and you're just walking like you don't know what's going on you must be able to have a grip over your life over your spiritual life let god order your footsteps speak to your footsteps the lord my, let order my footsteps to so be in the right place at the right time with the right people doing the right thing. Order my footsteps. May I not walk in no trouble today. Give me peace in my heart. Pay attention to within that which is going on within your heart. The issues of life. Yes, they all stems from the heart. Out of the heart. Out of the heart flows all the issues of life. So as much as you're fighting from outside, you got to also, you got to also fight within in your heart. That's where the enemy come and plant seed. You went to bed happy, you woke up sad. You and your spouse, you had good time, you went to bed happy, and now you can't stand each other. You just in a bad mood. You just got up with worry. You just got up with fear. Things that, the baggage you didn't take to bed, you got up with. And some of them you took to bed and you woke up with them. Extra baggage. Cast them upon the Lord. So begin to uproot out of your heart. Begin to speak. Out of your heart shall flow rivers of living water. This is what Jesus said. Out of your heart, those that believe, out of their heart shall flow rivers of living water. Begin to declare every day. Everything God has not planted in your heart, begin to uproot it and speak that out of my heart shall flow peace, joy, melody to the Lord my God. I delight myself in the Lord and he grant me the desires of the, my heart. Begin to speak over to that day. Out of your heart, what do you want to see hap, come out? Anger? No, it is not for God, of God. Anger shall, be, shall die down to the roots. Out of my heart shall flow. Delight. I'm a delightful person. I am cheerful. The Bible says, be of good cheer. Christ has overcome the world. Be of good cheer. You're a Christian. Why are you walking around angry, mad, pissed off, calling people names? Everybody, you're walking around frustrated. Frustrated. God did not create you, give you an opportunity uh, to experience life, to walk around frustrated. That be that's because you're carrying around baggage. You're not trusting God to fight your battle. Cast them upon the Lord. Cast it. It's a mystery. Just open your mouth and say, Lord, I cast it. Worry, I cast it. I walk in your peace. That surpasses all understand. Out of my heart shall flow peace. Out of my heart, I walk in the fruits of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, godliness. Yes, you walk in a faithfulness, self-control. And you begin to speak out of your heart. Out of your heart shall flow. You are light. You are the light of this world. Beloved, speak life. Declare that I am the light of this world. A city that said on the hill, my glory will not be hidden. I manifest light. Out of my heart shall flow light. I am light out of my, my actions say he action reflect light. I am godly. My actions say he action reflect godliness. I am holy. My actions say he action reflect holiness. Speak what you want to see. Your Christianity is waiting to manifest. It is all in the power of your tongue, beloved. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Jesus said, my words are speed, they are life. Speak life that you and your children may live. Make a good choice. Speak life for your children. I don't care what is going on. Begin, just trust God. Pray about it. Cast it upon the Lord. And, 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 and teach your children the way of the Lord. Teach them the truth. Everything God has not planted in them, speak to their life. Trust God that he can change them. Don't be frustrated. Don't call their no name. Don't, don't pour your anger upon them. Don't pour. That's exactly what the enemy wants. It's an enemy behind the scene that is working. 
speak to your children's life. To God's call that he can turn their lives around massively. Make him a priority. He will take care of your family. Make his work, his house a priority. He will, he will do things for you. So I just want you to have this practice daily. Live a daily life of consciousness. Live a daily life of, of, of love. Live your life deliberately. Live your life to be, uh, 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 to be a fruitful. Let it be fruitful. Let your life be fruitful. Everything you want to see, the Bible says, it is in your mouth. Plant it. Plant it. Jeremiah 1.10. You know, you don't just uproot. Many people just do warfare. They just walk in, uproot, tear down. It's good. Tear down the enemy's camp. Uproot what your father has not planted. But what your father, but you have to also plant and build. That's what you want to see so you can manifest in your life. Speak it into the atmosphere. The Lord upholds the universe by the word of his mouth. God can give you riches. But with your mouth, you can tear it down. The, the, the foolish woman, Proverbs talk, they tears their own house. They tear their own house with their, with their mouth. Your mouth has power to tear everything down. Your mouth, your mouth is, is sharper than a knife. It's sharper. It's sharper than a, to, a double-edged sword. Your mouth, your mouth is a sword. Your mouth is a sword. That's why the Bible says this word of the Spirit, the word of the living God is all in the mouth. When Jesus is coming again in Revelation, the Bible talk about the sword out of his mouth, that proceeds out of his mouth. Your mouth has power, beloved. The enemy just want to use it as a weapon. Instead of you using it against the enemy, he's using your own mouth against you. You talk life. So practice. It is a practice. Go in the word of God. Read the word. See what it says about you. And that's exactly what you speak over your life. It's called a weapon of confession. Speak it over your life. Take it. Be gentle. Let your gentleness be known among all. If you're not paying attention to that scripture, you'll be walking around as an arrogant person. People see you, they can't stand you. You're very arrogant. You're very aggressive. You're very forcey. And that's not who you are. Who you are is gentleness. Who you are is patient. Who you are is love. Who you are is self-control. Don't let nobody aggravate you to the point that you want to act out of control. You are self-control. Yes, your mouth is waiting for you to build your empire. Your mouth is waiting for you to build that business. Your mouth is waiting for you to establish you. Your mouth is waiting. How can two work together except they be in agreement? How can God work to you, with you, beloved? Amos 3, 3. How can he work with you? How? When you're not in agreement with his word, you and God should be saying the same thing. If God is saying about me, you are my beloved, and I am saying how much God don't like me, God like other people, we're not in agreement. It's never going to work. You know, if God is saying about me, you are, you are holy, and I am saying, oh, nobody is holy, da, da, da. you're not in agreement. It's contrary. So, beloved, speak life. Speak Spirit, speak faith-filled words. Your destiny is awaiting for you. Where you want to go, you got to uh, create that path by your words. Your words are too powerful. Don't downplay your word. Practice. I know many of us are used to talking some kind of way. Your culture has taught you how to talk. The wall, there's no proper way to speak in the world. You have to come back into the kingdom. You have to come back into the world. You have to come back to those that are teaching you the way of the Lord and, and, and walk in that path. The world will not teach you how to talk properly because Satan is influencing the world. So be careful. You want to do right, you got to retrain yourself. This is why um, the book of Romans 12 talk about uh, be not conformed to the pattern of this life. But be a transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may be able to test and approve what God's will is. It's good, it's pleasing, it's perfect for your life. The world system is horrible. You got to get that garbage out of your mind. You got to renew your mind. How do you renew your mind? You take the old way of thinking, the old way your culture has taught you, the old way people around you talk, the old way the media speaks, the, whole, the old way. And you begin to come into the God kind of way of talking. That's what renewal is. You're seeing things now from a different perspective. Now you're seeing it from the perspective of the kingdom, not the perspective of your culture in this world. So, beloved, your destiny is bright. 
There's good days ahead of you. Glory be to God. Choose your words. Choose life. For your children, choose words. Choose life. I pray that God will give you the grace to be a deliberate Christian, that you walk circumspectly, not as fool, but as wise, and you redeem the time because the days are evil. You redeem every day God has given you. You walk as wise person. You'll be awake, you'll be alert, you'll be vigilant. Yes, awake thou that sleepest. Arise from the dead. May Christ's light wake you up. May the Lord help you to be vigilant Christian. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen.